Kofua. Welcome to Aloha Cooking with Nader. Today I'll be cooking for you and I have a lot of recipes to introduce to you. And uh, I'll be taking you all, all over the world and show you different kinds of recipes. So let's get ready, grab your pen and paper so you can juggle down whatever I'll teach you and you just write it down and enjoy a good, beautiful, healthy Aloha spirited recipe. Okay folks, now I'm going to turn over my ukulele and the lei and the straw hat to my wahini so I can go back in the kitchen. Aloha. Aloha. Mahalo. There's the ukulele for you. The straw hat. And this is my wahini. Aloha and mahalo. Okay folks, now you're in my kitchen. Welcome to Aloha Cooking with Nader. Now today's dish is going to be tilapia fish. And let me show you how the tilapia fish look like. This fish lives in the Mexican Gulf. Very delicious and very good eating fish. Now you all know how to clean the fish. Well if you don't, you got a problem. Anyway, so you get the scales off, no problem. Most times you can get these in stores, they're already prepared for you or frozen. And that's good because they catch them, you know, and they put them, freeze pack them, no, uh, no air, it's all vacuum. And you just thaw them out the night before, but anytime you want to thaw the fish or meat, do it in the, from the freezer, put it in the refrigerator. Don't put it outside because certain bacteria come to life and they'll eat you instead of you eat them, huh? Okay, so now we remove this cover here. I'll put this fish back here. Now, one more thing. When you are mixing uh, meat, meat product with the vegetables, make sure you have separate boards. Okay, these are my safety tips. Says when you use vegetables, use them. Uh, preferably, it's better always to use wooden. I use bamboo; it's a good wood, and uh, you can use for vegetable cutting. And then you know that the bacteria don't mix, right? And the fish, I use this hard rubber, uh, white rubber boards, and they're good for the meat product. So what I'll do for you, I'll uh, take one fish right here. <clears throat> now, there are two ways you can prepare the, prepare the tilapia. You can have it filleted, or you can have it purchased filleted, or you can fillet it yourself. Or if you like whole, like myself, and most people like it whole, especially island people, they like things more in the natural way. So I give it here like about two, sometimes three, little bit cuts in here. Why do I do that? That will make it cook faster and the heat goes you know right into this little notches here and then I'll, what I'll do I'll put a little bit of a uh, touch of garlic here. I'll press some garlic inside. The garlic goes in there. There you go. And then you sprinkle just a little bit salt on it. Then you do the same thing to the other side. I got three cuts here, so I put a little bit here and there. And then it goes in here in the frying pan. What I use here, I use grapeseed seed oil. Grapeseed oil has a high smoke point. In other words, it doesn't burn fast, okay? It takes time before it gets to the smoke point. And I'll put it on sort of like a little bit, not high, but close to between high and medium. And then just put a little bit more oil. So once you put the uh, tilapia fish in your frying pan, just move the fish around just a little bit. See that? So it won't stick. Because the whole fish gets oily and uh, oil doesn't stick to oil. You know that, right? There you go. Just leave it there. And then put one of these uh, anti-splatter so the oil doesn't splatter all, all over you and it won't hit your eyes. You need your eyes. You got to see, right? Mahalo. Okay. So the other kind I told you, the other way you can make it, it's just uh, what I do. I take the fillet, always wash it. Always wash it. And it's a good habit before you start cooking, always wash your hands, have your fingernails clean and, you know, short. 
So good hygiene keeps all the bacteria and the things that they may want to eat you, keep them out of your kitchen. So then you have the tilapia fillets here. What I do, I before I put the breadcrumbs on it, I put a little bit of oil. Again, because if you make the, the meat oily, when you put it in the frying pan, it won't stick to the pan. Then you cover it with the breadcrumbs and just put a little bit of the, you can put whatever you want to put, it's up to you. The bread, some breadcrumbs, they have a little bit parsley, a little bit garlic, and put salt and pepper on it to your taste. And that goes into the dish. Or now the filet will cook faster because it doesn't have bones, but people like me, I love any kind of meat, whether it's uh, chicken or fish or whatever, steak, I like with bone because bone has a lot of minerals and ingredients that when it goes into the cooking with the meat, it makes the meat tastier. But some people don't want to travel with the bone. No problem. Okay, so we'll leave this alone and let it just cook slowly on a medium to medium height until it's ready to turn it over. So we'll put the fish away and then while the fish is cooking I'm going to get the ingredients and show you how to make my potato salad. Okay, here we go. While the fish is cooking, now of course from fish, you know if you touch fish you got to wash your hands and then come back to the vegetables. Now this is my special potato salad. What I'll do for you guys, first I'm going to put it in a nice big bowl after all the ingredients are prepared. They'll go into that one. Okay, here's my herbs or vegetables, whatever you want to call them. I got, you can get about a bunch or half a bunch of parsley. Okay, regular parsley, and then you can use one of these cleavers to chop them really good. Always push the vegetable or whatever you're cutting towards your cutting tool, right? Not the other way around. Just keep pushing it towards it and keep the cutting utensil in the same area so you don't accidentally don't cut your hand, you cut the vegetables. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. That's the parsley and then half a bunch of cilantro, fresh, organic, yummy, yummy, good for the tummy. Now all these things I'm showing you, they have a lot of good nutrients, vitamin C, a lot of B complexes, these are fibers, natural green fibers. So these are all chopped, 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 okay? And then I got green onions. You take these end, the root ends, discard them. You don't need that. Out it goes. Same thing, chop, 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 chop. All of these chop, 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 chop. And then you're going to have this beautiful chopped mixture here. Meanwhile the fish is still doing well. I keep it low. Mahalo. There you go. Then the next ingredient is going to be okay I'm going to put this back into the work. I just showed you how you chop it, how fine you can chop it. It should come out 